Hello fellow aircraft mechanics, I'm Tim LeBaron, the Deputy Director of Regional Operations with the National Transportation Safety Board. I'd like to have a brief talk with you about something we may not often think about, and that is the condition of aircraft fuel selectors. At the NTSB, we have recently investigated several accidents in which worn fuel selectors have led to fuel starvation and a loss of engine power. Two of those accidents resulted in fatalities. We've seen some commonalities in these accidents. Specifically, worn detents can make it difficult for a pilot to properly position the fuel selector to the desired tank. The pilot may think they selected a tank, but in fact the fuel selector is positioned mid-range between tanks or even on an empty tank, cutting off fuel flow. Also, as fuel selectors wear, the handles may become difficult or impossible to move. If a pilot applies too much force, the internal components can fracture and obstruct fuel flow. So what can you do? Be vigilant to address any squawks reported about the fuel selector. During annual or 100-hour inspections, always inspect the fuel selector for operation, condition, and security. Ensure that the stops or detents for the fuel selector valve position are distinct and noticeable. Confirm that the fuel selector placards accurately align with valve position. Service or replace any worn components per the maintenance manual and check your work for accuracy. Lastly, be informed and review and comply with any applicable airworthiness directives and service bulletins regarding the fuel selector and components you are inspecting. The extra diligence you spend to inspect a fuel selector valve just might save a life. Thank you for your time and continued dedication to keep airplanes flying safely.